Hello, my name's Mike Lovins. Richard O'E. Hey, Richard O'E. We just finished playing Circus <laughs> Imperial, a game I didn't buy for once. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it online about, oh, almost a year ago, I'd say, I think. I don't know, I don't think it's accurate. And uh, we were waiting to uh, photocopy some of the stuff in it because we didn't want to ruin the original boxes after a lot of times and a lot of messing up. So um, we decided we're just going to crack it open and play it anyways. Screw that. <laughs> so we did. And it was fun. And I won. I co, you co I co won. You co won. Okay. What happened was we were racing hoverboard chariots being pulled by genetically altered beasts. And everybody's beasts except his died. I hopped a ride. He just, one of his drivers jumped into the uh, surviving my, my female driver, Ben, uh, her, she jumped in. <laughs> so, <laughs> and we did, gave all our drivers and uh, guy leaders silly names, because hey, why not? Now, this is a beer and pretzel uh, level game. The rules are not detailed, complicated, or anything like that. So we don't know if I call one or not, so we're saying I call one. By we, I mean I. I don't care what they say. <laughs> but, uh, basically, you raise a chariot around the track, you take chances, you do damage to each other's, player, each other's um, chariots, the beast pulling them, and the drivers, and gladiator you have. And generally, the, somebody limps across the finish line lap, uh, and that's it. Oftentimes, you will have nobody being able to go across the chariots but to see whose beast <coughs> fell last, and that's who won. Or whose chariots fell apart last. Yeah. Um, very beer and pretzels, very mature. Uh, when we play it, we revert back to junior high with the various jokes we tell. And player X loves that he frosts the mouse and goes into a frenzy every time he gets a chance to play mm. this. Frenzy! Frenzy! <laughs> um, back to their cage! <laughs> for many years, there was a person who attended most local gaming conventions bringing this game along. Um, he's no longer attending them because of various reasons, but we, have, we all have pleasant memories of playing in a crowded room, we were all just looking at us saying, Would you guys shut up? As we yell, <laughs> FRENZY! Keep in mind it's late. <laughs> oh, sorry. We are not at a convention right now. No. no. But we might still have people upset with how much noise we're making. This is I'm going to start whipping you, Yogi. Oh, lovely. So, um, it's basically a combat game on a the racetrack where you have two sets of hit points. The hit points for your Characters, the hit and points for your character. Okay, I'm going to explain the three types of hit points. You have hit points for your characters, <laughs> you have hit points for your chariot, and you have hit points for your beasts. Can you get the beast fast enough this time? Oh, he's already done. That's you. He's so, showing his dog. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, three types of hit points. You can try to crash into each other as you go. You try to drive each other into foot walls. When you take the turns, depending on how fast you're going, you can not quite take the turns. You can slam into the walls um, as you're basically taking the turns because, you know, you can't be going too fast for those turns. And that's basically it. As you are smashing up your chariot and everyone else is smashing up their chariots and you're smashing up their chariots and trying to hurt their beasts and smash their chariots and... Hey, maybe somebody in your chariot happened to be waving a sword at the person in his chariot. And, whoops, did that hit? Really hard? Not hard enough, Dylan. It's most fun when you're going into the corners, when you're going extremely fast and can't control your, yeah. control your chariot because your beasts are frenzied. Um, when your beasts are gone to frenzy mode. So it's more fun when go, other players are doing that. <laughs> you go at max speed, plus a d10. So, first time around, you can maybe hit and it's speed of 18. As you hit the corners, um, each track in a corner has a number of, uh, associated with it. You subtract that from your current speed, and that's how many cornering cards you pick up. More cornering cards, the worst generally for you. Some cornering cards is, hey, yeah, everything worked out. Others are, you start drifting left. And sometimes you drift one square left, sometimes you drift three left. But it doesn't matter how far left you drift, that wall is still there on your left. Right. On your right? Okay. Yeah, yeah on the right. <laughs> other <laughs> left. By other left, I mean right. It's, it's fine. I only know like I was looking at my machine like, no, most of my damage is on my right side. 
Yeah, no, it's a fun game. You can't buy it anymore unless you find it on uh, Amazon or eBay or something like that. Uh, somebody trying to sell their old copy. It took me a little while to find this one, and uh, there were a couple more out there. This one was pretty much unpunched. Unpunched, like all the things were all linked together, as you saw in the unboxing video. And the box was damaged when we got it, so to we'll put a it link in. in the bottom for the unboxing video, which will also show the date we got it and how long we've been waiting to play it. That's true. Um, but beyond that, uh, it's associated with the FASA universe for Renegade Legion. And this is what the uh, guys go to watch on Friday night. Not football, but idiots on chariots uh, being pulled by beasts going around uh, Marina. In other words, us. <laughs> <laughs> so well, that's uh, pretty much it. It's yeah. a great game. Unfortunately, it's very much out of print. You can get a copy. It's a great game if you have the right people playing it. Yes. This is not a game for people that sit down and calculate the best possible move. No. If you're a Euro gamer, you're probably not going to like much like this. Uh, but no, this definitely, like I say... <laughs> it's not is, for people that like Scrabble. It's definitely Ameritrash. This is definitely... Uh, Beyond uh, old, 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 old theme. Uh, and a very funny thing. Yes. The mechanics don't work, matter nearly as much because I'm sure we got a lot of things wrong and it doesn't matter in our playthrough and it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. I really misread the order of playing football and was thinking that we had twice as many uh, bits as we were doing, but that doesn't matter because we never actually had any of the bits where it would have mattered. So I can say, so we all love this game, even yes. Player X. And it's a great beer and pretzel game. We didn't actually have beer, we did have pretzels. We did have pretzels. We did. Yes. Beforehand, not during. Otherwise, that would have been too loud. But a great game, and there's not much more to say except a fun, mindless game. With sheets, you have to mark off things on. Yep. And you can see this poor beast died. Mine is still alive. They all died but his. Because I treat my beasts well. Mine would, only... been, mine would have been fine had someone not come up and <laughs> ran me into a wall, which wasn't actually caught on film. So it probably shouldn't have happened. The best <laughs> move ever. When you can't see. You magnificent bastard. <laughs> and <laughs> how much more to say except it was funny. Watch the edited playthrough where we lost video feed a couple times, but hey, that's part of the course for this game. You know, Trust me, we got you got most of the kills in there. Yeah. Yep, watch, <coughs> like, subscribe. Yep. Comment. Definitely comment. We love getting comments. Yep. How about the game? Well, anything. <laughs> or, or anything. We read it. It's funny. Yes. But we'll, we'll might even At read this it point, online. I'll take anything. <laughs> yeah. I'm I not proud. Hi. <laughs> one of the things you can do is whip your beasts. There were a lot of whip puns used. I always whip my beasts. Many whip puns. Except for this game. I didn't really whip my beasts as much. I should have done them more. I'm really surprised you know what your beasts are. I know. Self-control. Yeah. It's called... Uh, That's why you co one. You <coughs> one and I co one. Yep. That's why <laughs> breeding techniques. He's <laughs> more <laughs> killed. If he didn't whip them enough. It's the, it's the Kama Sutra of whipping. <laughs> didn't whip them to death. Unlike the rest of us. Yeah. Oh, you well. need staying power. And on that note, yep. <laughs> I think that's all we have to say for this. Yep. Thank you for watching. Yep. Have a good evening. Kudos.